Hi, I'm Tim Rubble, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Today I'm going to do the review of the Oru Kayak Coastal XT, and I absolutely love this rig. Been paddling for about the last hour now, and it's just so efficient uh, in the water. I like the new construction with this uh, slide seam that's put together. This is my third Oru and probably maybe my ninth or tenth kayak overall. Um, but for paddle efficiency, this thing paddles really nice and tracks real well, uh, even with a little bit of a breeze that we have going on here. Another one of the things to note that I really like is these sides that are kind of tapered. And the boat sits in the water somewhat low. I'm 233 pounds and the the boat just paddles so beautiful um let's see if we can see behind it's 16 foot long uh so obviously it would probably track really well but just the way that the shape of the boat is and if you're unfamiliar with oru these are a foldable kayak that break down into the size of a very large backpack and i travel with this in my expedition truck all the time um wonderful they say it's about 10 minutes to put together and i kind of been doing it this is probably my third or fourth uh unfolding and put together of this boat excuse this aircraft right now but is what it is this is live and real um it goes together in about five minutes um once you've done it a couple times you understand uh how it how it works um and it's pretty simple for me um i have my uh life vest here it's one of the inflatable type that uh, you pull the string in the uh canister inflates so I'm legal to be in the back bay on this and it's just a beautiful day out and a nice day to go out and paddle this boat I'll wait till we get back to shore and kind of show you a few more things about the uh, the boat and what I think of it but um, absolutely love it highly recommend it and uh, we'll go from there so I'm back from about a two-hour paddle and I absolutely love the efficiency of this boat basically the way it's built is it just has such a sleek design. It goes through the water really, really nice. Uh, I ran, um, I think my highest heart rate was 113 paddling this coming back in as tides coming back in and into the wind. Uh, some of the upgrades that I did do, this is uh, off of the Oru site. I did their gel, the thick seat, and this is my first time using it. And it really kept my legs from going to sleep this time. One of the things that makes this boat very unique also is even for its 16 foot length, um, it's 32 pounds. And with my little life vest and my paddle, I can carry that about a quarter mile back to the truck without any problems. So I'll take it back there, uh, put it on the picnic table, flip it over and show you guys what the, uh, the design is underneath. All right, made it back to the truck and I did a nice wipe down. So basically, this is kind of what the boat looks like sitting on the picnic table. And we'll go ahead and flip her over. See, I'm just basically handling this boat with one hand. You can see some of the fold lines. I think they say these are rated to like 10,000 folds or something like that. Um, I never see myself probably doing more than 30 or 40. Basically, once I set this up, we're here for two months. So I, I fold it up uh, and unfold it just one time a trip. But you can see just kind of the design of it, why it goes through the water the way it does and why it tracks so well. Um, gotta say, I give this boat a, uh, let's see if I cannot drop it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna rate it about a nine out of 10 for all of the kayaks that I've had and paddled. Uh, why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, not a 10 out of 10, is I feel like for my 6 foot 3, 230 pound body trying to fit down in this little cove is a little tough. That's about the only thing I don't like about the boat. Uh, once again, these sides that are so uh, nice and tapered, that really works well for paddling efficiency. Um, I don't know if I would change anything on it. I know they make a, I think it's a Bay XT um, that's shorter than this. That might be a good way to go too. Um, if a little lighter, a little um, easier to carry and maneuver through tighter areas. But once you get this thing on the back bay and paddle it, um, I give that a 10 out of 10. It's the best paddling kayak that I've owned and had quite a few. Um, questions comments anything like that uh, please uh, reach out to me uh, down in the comments and uh, we'll start a little chat on this um, 
for myself, uh, for a boat that packs up and I can put in my under bay storage on my big expedition truck. Um, it really works out super well to carry a kayak with you at all times. Um, you might be in the middle of the desert in February, but you may end up be coming to the coast or a local river or a lake or something. So um, really neat boat. Check them out. Oru Kyrex. That's going to be it for now. I'm Tim Robel. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll catch you here next time.